Tonight, the two largest planets in our solar system align in a way that hasn't been seen in centuries and won't likely happen again in our lifetimes. Mark Strassman takes a closer look at this once in a lifetime phenomenon. Astronomer Christopher Dupree is about to see something hidden from Earth since Galileo first pointed his telescope at the stars. Wow, they're both in the finder. I've never seen that before. Our solar system's two biggest planets in one viewfinder. That's Jupiter down to the right, Saturn up to the left. All month, just after sunset, sky watchers have captured the pair of planets slowly coming together in the southwest sky. Tonight, they'll overlap, appearing to merge into a single source of light, an astronomical conjunction. It's a very slow motion crash. Whereas in actuality, how close are they? Oh, they're hundreds of millions of miles apart. It has to do with orbits and tilts and cosmic clockwork. Yeah, it's like a big machine that's just running forward, and on the 21st is when all those pieces are aligned just right for these two planets to get really, really close. That big machine is our solar system, constantly in motion. Every 20 years, Jupiter laps Saturn, and both planets line up with Earth. It is true that these two planets did come close, actually 20 years ago, but you couldn't see them up in the sky. They were too close to the sun. The big difference here is that you can actually see them after dark, and that's what's unusual about it. The last visible conjunction this close was in 1226, nearly 800 years ago. Tonight's falls on the winter solstice, like a star of Bethlehem for Christmas week, 2020. Since the whole solar system is this kind of clockwork, you can wind the clock back for thousands of years and you can see where planets would have been at a time in the past. Kepler is one of the astronomers who actually hypothesized that the star of Bethlehem could have been a planetary conjunction. These two wise men are smart enough to know we need clear skies tonight. If there are clouds in the sky, you're stuck with it. You know, if you can go out the night before or the night after, it'll still be an impressive sight. And won't happen again for 60 years. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Decatur, Georgia. And we have just the person who can tell us <laughs> if the clouds are going to leave, are they going to, or is it going to be a cloudy night? You know, Matt, every large astronomical event recently has been masked by clouds, hmm. and this one is no exception. But as they said, tomorrow it's still going to be a good show, and I do th expect uh, things to clear out some. And if you want to see it, there's going to be live streaming, and we have a link to that on wearecentralpa.com. All right, good stuff. Thank you, Joe.